Today we're going to make a cheap external battery pack for your DSLR. What's up YouTube and welcome to the Asian Filmmaker. I am your host, Jason. Now, I speak of two things when filming with the DSLR. Number one is you're gonna to wanna to get better sound, either through a microphone or a lavalier mic that I'm wearing. Number two, investing in batteries. Because these things are so portable, they come with small little batteries like these. And while they do do a pretty good job, sometimes you're just gonna to wanna to have that extra juice. Now, you can either go the DIY route, which I'm gonna teach you today, or you can buy one of those very expensive Sony V-mount batteries that will pretty much power your camera for the whole day. But my DIY version won't break the bank and it will pretty much power for pretty much the whole day. So here's how we do it. For this example, I'm going to use the EOS M, but pretty much this build will work with any DSLR that uses a 7.4 volt battery. Make sure you get an AC adapter with a dummy battery. If you don't already have one, make sure you have a multimeter. The soldering is not necessary unless you want to create a hardwire version. We're going to be using Sony MPF batteries. These are usually the batteries that power your LED lights and or monitors. You're also going to want to get a Sony MPF battery mount that outputs to a monitor. Mine's going to be a shorter build, but if you need a longer wire, be sure to get some 20 gauge wires like you see here, as well as two CCTV plugs, one female and one male. Once you have all your materials gathered, we're going to plug in the AC adapter and make sure that the internal plug is giving a positive current and the outer barrel is giving a negative current. As you can see, it's giving a 7.79. If it was to be negative, reversing the polarity, the multimeter should show a negative sign. Once that is all said and done, cut the wire of the AC adapter to the desired length. Strip off the tips to reveal the wire underneath. There are markings on the wires to help you distinguish which one's the positive and which one's the negative. The negative is outlined with a bunch of dash marks, and the positive is not. On the CCTV plugs, they have a positive and negative sign. Match the wire to the appropriate slot. Trim any excess wire that's not needed, and simply screw it in. You're going to repeat the process with a Sony battery plates plug. Since it's not CCTV, you're going to have to adapt it. Simply cut off one plug, expose the wire. The outer wire is negative, the internal wire is positive. Match it to the appropriate slots on the CCTV plug, and there you have it. Now that you have assembled everything, it's time to check to make sure that we've wired everything correctly. We will plug in the battery plate wire that we've converted to the CCTV plug, which will then lead to the dummy battery. And with your multimeter, we will double check that the dummy battery is receiving a positive current. All right, if everything checks out, you are ready to test your external battery pack. Insert the dummy battery, plug in the AC plug through the bottom, attach your Sony MPF battery, a little light should shine, and there you go. Congratulations, you have now made your own little DIY external battery pack. The cool thing about the battery mount plate is that there's a Velcro loop in the back that can actually fit onto your belt. And there you have it folks. For less than $100, you can build your own external battery pack with little to no work. All the links for the uh, products that I used are down below in my Amazon store. Anytime you buy from my Amazon store, you're helping my channel and paying forward for new content. If you have any questions or comments about how I made this, or maybe there's something I didn't really hit, just leave them down in the comments below or hit me up on Facebook and or Twitter. I would be more than happy to answer your questions. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. Help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button down below. Visiting any links that I provide helps me create future content just for you.